Dragon Ball Daima has finally started. Already two episodes out. People are always quick to give reviews on things and all of that. So honestly, let the show cook before we give out reviews, especially like IGN that gave it a seven. It wasn't enough for them to give Dragon Ball Sparking Zero as a seven. They had to they had to double back. In this case, though, I will say playing devil's advocate, especially for IGN, which is wild. A seven, I think, is valid for the first episode, which is the opening episode, which is kind of how they're trying to treat it. It's the first episode of the season. We're giving this a seven because honestly, I don't even know what they said. Let's go check. So they gave it a seven, which is still a good rating. Seven out of ten. People were are expecting a hundred percent or ten, which I think is also a little bit insane, especially which what it's the first episode that they're reviewing, not the whole thing in general. Which I think is a little bit insane. Let the show cook and then maybe we can give a rating. But everybody's quick to give a rating these days. So that's beyond everything. The whole point is their review. So they give it a seven because they're saying Dragon Ball Daima gets an unrushed premiere. That's mostly a tour of Dragon Ball's trophy wall before propelling in its legendary cast into a brand new adventure in its final minutes. And I'm not gonna lie, I agree. Look at me, I look like a certified trucker. I'm built like one. So you know my anime takes are the real deal. And of course, I have criticized IGN before. Like for example, the Demon Slayer rating that they gave, I thought was a little bit insane, especially with that last episode, which was fire. Yes, the other episodes were a little bit short here and there, but it was insane, the rating that they gave it. But we gotta be honest, that first episode kicked us off with literally just that, Dragon Ball's Hall of Fame, which I think they've done that countless and countless and countless of times in almost every show, in almost every movie. Like, it's insane. So I think a seven is kind of giving it grace because literally the new footage that we got was just some motherfuckers watching the Dragon Ball Netflix series and then them pulling up and making them babies. That was it. I think it was like, honestly, like maybe two minutes worth of content, maybe a little bit more. But out of a 20 something minute show or episode, sorry, that's all we got. Now, second episode's out. We do get a little bit more of something. On that same note as well, I mean, they're writing the fact that everybody has watched Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is a super popular show because it does start very slow. Episode two. Episode two and, and the adventure's about to start the next episode. It might not even start yet. We don't know. It's great to be critical. I think their review does help hold some merit with the fact that it's a seven. For the first episode, I wouldn't review it that quick. I'm just a YouTuber here. IGN is a is a big company, so they got there somehow. The, the review I won't stand is the Sparking Zero one. Like, that's literally insane. You can look at my last video that I just made about the whole game, about not the whole game, but just the Goku Black situation. And it's like, bro, come on. We need to stop rushing these reviews, honestly. And if you ask me for a review on it, I got nothing to tell you because it's the same thing. It's literally episode two. Like if we were giving reviews this quick, man, data Dan, is that even how you even say it? Episode three, man, that was solid, but I'm still confused on what the hell this show is about. Other than kind of like a mob psycho lookalike. I fuck with the vibes. I think that's it for me. Uh, check out one of the other videos that we have here on the channel. Show some love, show some support. And yo, hit my, hit my line up. I, I'm thinking of maybe doing a Sparking Zero tournament.